Hello, I. Yeah, we can see you. I'm sir. audible. Yeah. 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 Good evening, and thank you, Shinivas, a distinguished panel there. I'm very delighted to be a part of this TCT India Asia Pacific. As you said, uh, I had some exigencies, and I'm presenting a live in box of a robotic uh, case. So you can uh, actually, I will start the. Thing. You tell me, we're able to hear now. Yeah, we are perfect. We can see you and hear you well. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Yeah. going to uh, do a robotic assisted PCI. I would call it a proof PCI, proof for robotic precision, optimization by imaging with OCT and optimization of physiology with RFR, pressure wire, all robotic assisted. Let us uh, talk about the case. She's a 52 year old diabetic uh, lady with chronic stable angina of for uh, three to four months, strongly positive treadmill tests, uh, ECG normal, echocardiography normal without any wall motion abnormalities, angiography done uh, a few days back. So let's show the uh, angiogram, like, almost like a co-dominant right coronary artery with a shepherd's crook. Approximately, you can see the upward going up shepherd's crook, critical mid RCA lesion. The lesion is a little bit longish from here to here, and then two small PDA branches, a leash of branches over here, over here, over here, over here, over here, multiple branches, which will pose a challenge in negotiating the wire uh, using the robotic drive. And we are going to use a pressure wire X because we are planning to check the RFR, RFR resting full cycle ratio. We are going to use uh, this RFR measure, which is a non-hyperemic flow parameter to assess the import physiological significance of this lesion and see how at the end of the case, the RFR comes out. As we know, RFR of 0.89 and below is significant. And at the end of the case, if you can achieve an RFR of 0.95 or more, we know that physiologically we have achieved an optimal result. The second thing is we are going to, as I said, we are going to use robotic precision in this case to measure the exact length of the lesion and so that we can choose the appropriate length of the stent. Same, we are also going to do an OCT at the end of the procedure just to see the MAX algorithm wise, we have achieved an optimal result with and without any dissections. So this is a robotic assisted precision optimization PCI. So with three arms, precision in selecting the right stent and locating the stent up exactly using the robotic PCI as well as logically by flow indices as well as optimization by imaging using OCT. I will show you the left system as well. She has a mild uh, middle AD lesion with some bridging and a diseased uh, thin calibered diagonal. And as you can see here, the left system has a mild uh, disease of the circumflex. We're going to uh, start the case uh, in uh, 15 minutes and as we go along we'll show you the steps 
and then uh, hope we'll uh, have a good educative session. So as we proceed to the case, first we gained a right femoral axis, the radial was weak, hence the femoral, 6F JR 3.5 GAD catheter was placed and connected to the manifold, uh, which of course uh, you need a special drive for the attachment to the manifold. Parallelly, the sister had uh, put a sterile cover to the robotic drive and she had connected the cassette to the robotic drive arm. And now the job is to connect the sheet, the femoral sheet, to the uh, sheet from the sleeve sheet from the robotic drive so that the control is established. Drive uh, gate catheter console. A small shape was given to the pressure wire X guide wire and it was uh, uh, passed through the guide catheter Y connector till the distal tip of the guide catheter and then the guide wire was put into the guide wire slot of the cassette and the cassette doors are closed. Then the machine, the robotic uh, console is now ready for enabling. Now I have taken control. The robo console has now been enabled for all the three joysticks. I disable the guide joystick and I take over the guide wire manipulation using the second joystick. I have passed the pressure wire catheter just enough so that the transducer is in the proximal part of the RCA for equalization. As you can see, the sister is connecting the, the wireless transducer of the pressure wire X now. can see the green light on that. Uh, the, we should take care that we should never put this uh, uh, transducer of the pressure wire button off at any time during the procedure. And uh, as the robotic uh, console is there, sister has to hold the transducer with her hand so that we can get the pressure uh, recording. There was some damping, uh, so we just Pull the guide out and the damping has disappeared. There is a pressure wire X. Zeroing was done. Equalization was done. Then guess you uh, one ml of dye. Manipulate the wire distally. And as I am passing the wire distally, they will be helping me with uh, a little bit of dye injection. Uh, center and a little bit cranial view. Sir, I think uh, we have a problem with your internet connection, sir. It's not breaking. Why we see? Can yes, you hear us? Uh, AV team, can you rectify that or inform, sir, that we are not able to hear you? Uh, hello? Yeah, yeah. There is some uh, internet problem, sir. We are not able to see. Yes, you must. Yeah, you are able to. That is breaking. Voice is breaking and the picture is coming jerky. Increase the volume. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, you can uh, show the important step of stent placement because I don't know. The, we are not able to uh, see it continuously. Our uh, technical team says uh, poor internet connection that side. Yes, sir. That's his, uh, he is not able to hear us. Yeah. Also between uh, it's lag. Yeah, yeah. It's not only lag. Uh, we're getting a lot okay. of jerky I break. Will, uh, yeah. Okay, I think the internet is not that. Uh, I'm Show sure the it, important uh, steps and the final things. So I was just uh, trying to highlight the fact that in that. RCA, yeah. Yeah, RFR probably has an advantage over AFR. 
Yeah. You are not worried about uh, putting this uh, wire which is more stiffer compared to the routine wires through robotic PCI because even the routine wires yeah. the handling is different. My voice is better off than the live live in box. Yeah, when you talk it is okay, but the live in the box is not coming at all. Oh, you are not able to see it or you are not able to... It is coming in jerky jerky motion, sir. Srinivas, the... It is coming in a jerky fashion. Exact length of the lesion. You can choose the anatomic uh, angiographic landing zones and with the balloon, you put it in the distal landing zone and use something called the reset button here. So, and then drag it back to the proximal landing and you can have an exact measurement, sub millimeter measurement of the landing zone to landing zone. This is one part of the robotic PCI precision, which we can use in the procedure. The second part of precision, of course, is here we have chosen, the measurement came out as 32.5. So the pre-dilatation balloon helped us in choosing the 32.5 length. So we're going with a 2.5-33 Zine stent. And again, for positioning the stent, precision is going to help tune out. The sisters in the lab inside, once you tell the stent, they load the device. And once the device is loaded again, I will take over from here and use the joystick for guiding the stent over here. This is a long stent, you can see here, 2.533, but despite that uh, torch velocity is with the pressure wire and the robotic drive straight, it went in and at uh, 14 atmospheres, we had placed it there. And again, the precision part, the second point, every millimeter, you can advance the stent or withdraw here. There is a millimeter. So this is another part of the precision. Manually, it is a little bit difficult, especially as Medanta is showing that if you want exact one mm positioning, we can do that with the robotic precision. This is another big aspect of the robotic precision PCI. Then after we do that, we check the, uh, this is the RFR. Uh, we check the PDPA post procedure after taking out the stent balloon. It is one perfect uh, angiographic uh, physiological result. And this is the RFR. The RFR post procedure is 0.99. Wonderful. As we said in defined PCI, any RFR or IFR 0.95 in mean, IFR was used there is an excellent, is good result, but 0.99 is almost like physiological normalcy was established. So you know now that there's unlikely to be any geographic misses or incomplete stent expansions. That so is one good part. Of it. And then, of course, this is the physiology optimization. And now we'll go for the OCT for. Uh, <laughs> the optimization uh, of imaging, we have to load the OCT catheter manual with, uh, uh, with the robotic drive because it will get crushed. Only the Volcano IOS can be used as the current uh, iteration. So OCT catheter, the sister had placed manually and then we had done an OCT run and this is what it shows. Uh, well expanded stent, uh, well opposed, no tissue plus, no thrombus, uh, excellent an anatomic angiographic result as well. So this is, uh, as I was saying, a classical robotic PCI uh, with precision uh, using the robo and for optimization by RFR, pressure wire X and uh, OCT imaging. As to start a PCI robotic program is uh, a little bit of a challenge initially with the learning uh, uh, curve, but then I think once you start doing these cases, you can get a great result. Uh, thank you, thank you, Vijay. I, Actually, you are not able to appreciate because you are seeing uh, only. I'll just uh, one minute. I'll take to just show that. We see Ajay is... joining. Welcome, Ajay. Yeah, you can uh, you can play the to... video. Otherwise, once you try that, if you want the final picture, well, uh, what you prepared. If it comes all right, we'll see. Otherwise, uh, we'll go to just. Yeah. So this, this is uh, the final uh, shot I've shown. This is what we have been doing uh, uh, in our institute for the last one and a half years. Multiple types of cases have been done. This we are pioneering the physiology guidance in robotic PCI as uh, like, like in this case. So this would be the probable uh, future. In fact, the defined GPS study is going on just to see whether such a physiology guided PCIs are good. And if you can combine both physiology and uh, OCT optimization, I think that will be the future. And we use the robotic uh, arms for doing all such cases. These are all what we have done in our institute. We will be achieving a lot of benefit for ourselves in terms of radiation reduction, 
and in terms for the patient as well, because we'll be doing uh, less of geographic misses, precise positioning, and we can reduce probably unnecessary usage of uh, stents as well. We have done uh, several types of uh, uh, PCIs using the robot, including even the SVG graft uh, PCIs. So uh, I thank the, my team for uh, having uh, done a great job with this case. Namaste. I am Dr. A. Srinivas Kumar, uh, Senior Consultant Cardiologist, Director of Cardiology and Clinical Research, Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. This bring, video brings to you best wishes from Fax Foundation and TCT India, South Asia 2021. Uh, we wish to bring to you uh, the details of uh, another interesting uh, aspect. We could call it a new revolution in uh, interventional cardiology and uh, PCA technique, that is a robotic PCI with a core path system and uh, we had effective demonstration of it uh, by Dr. YVC Reddy from Apollo Chennai, where uh, the initial presentation of the patient uh, has a chronic stable angina, strongly positive treadmill, had a very tight uh, RCA disease, and LCX LED was mild, and those were left for medical management. In the robotic assisted PCI, he showed ex uh, uh, clearly how we could sit in the cockpit without any radiation and playing with joysticks, we could perform PCI. So as of now, he mentioned that initially they started with doing a type A type of lesions, but later on uh, people are attempting to do CTOs and venous graft interventions, long lesions, and all types of procedures are being done uh, with robotic assisted uh, method. And the value of this became more relevant even the COVID era where you could limit the operator exposure to the positive infected patients. But uh, another thing which we are expecting uh, for in future could be where we could operate and uh, use this modality to deliver PCA therapies even in uh, type 2, type 3 cities in the peripheries where availability of cardiologists is a challenge. And uh, we wish uh, India with uh, improved internet and technology facilities, uh, we could reach there and uh, do good to uh, periphery, peripheral patients also who present with emergencies. Coming back to today's uh, case which was presented, the RCA, mid-RCA lesion was there. Uh, again, initially he wanted to show how physiology also can be done uh, through robot uh, assisted robotic cassette. And it has the wire, RFR, uh, RFX wire was taken basically with the Philips um, Volcano system. And then probably also uh, once you need to use that wire a little carefully, those aspects were highlighted with the little contrast checks and using the joysticks, he could place that wire, uh, even um, uh, pressure wire uh, into the artery. And then uh, after initial balloon dilatations, then uh, uh, they also wanted to assess uh, the OCT imaging physiology after the stent and the OCT catheter as of now, uh, it can be directly put in the uh, cassette, robotic uh, cassette, but the uh, sister has to personally thread the catheter, then connect it. Uh, but the Volcano Philips uh, IVOS catheter could directly go through the robotic cassette itself, as was uh, told by Dr. YVC Reddy. Then OCT imaging also could be performed, and then physiological assessment was done post-procedure, which value came 0.99, as uh, uh, told by Dr. YVC. Actually, this is, uh, opens up another important uh, aspect of a precise positioning of the stents. He said uh, sub-millimeter uh, level adjustments of the stent. Here they have taken uh, 38 mm stent or 33 mm stent because the measurements came 32.5. So such a precision of a correct placement of stents is possible with uh, sub-millimeter level movements with the joysticks uh, possible in the precise stent positioning. So he called it as a very precision uh, PCI to the submillimeter level and also using uh, OCT uh, guidance and uh, physiological uh, and then uh, checking up, you are doing a probably uh, OCT, robotic OCT assisted and possibly physiologically measured the optimal uh, precision PCI uh, in this patient. Hope uh, the technology improves further, becomes more user friendly and more and more such patients could be benefited by this uh, robotic um, assisted PCA technique. Uh, this, this uh, I hope you all enjoyed uh, this uh, robotic assisted uh, PCA technique demonstration. 
uh, we are sorry for the little uh, disturbances of internet which happened uh, during this presentation which are things which were beyond our control but we definitely wanted to bring to you this also because this is another interesting aspect a newer modality which is coming up for all of us in interventional cardiology thank you yours dr a srinivas kumar